football has arrived across the Oregon outdoors, and you can measure it in many different ways. Certainly shorter days and longer nights, but also cooler and wetter times. Hi there, I'm Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. And this week, we discover another way that the seasonal change is measured, wildlife behavior, as we join a group of scientists who take us on an adventure to learn more about birds most of us rarely see. Come on along. We're headed to Snag Boat Bend Wildlife Refuge for some bird science. Some of Oregon's most exciting wildlife moments happen this time of year, like the scores of songbird species that most of us rarely see. Biologists are trying to change that point of view at a public refuge called Snag Boat Bend in Lynn County, where the work begins an hour before sunrise. We call it the dawn chorus, so birds become very active just as the sun begins to rise. Time to go. A team of Oregon State University researchers and federal wildlife biologists capture and band as many songbirds as they can. It's work that's never been done. We're right in the middle of fall migration, and here we're able to detect them and get them in hand. They get them in hand with special nets. This is called a mist net. The mist nets reach eight feet high and up to 60 feet long, and they are nearly invisible. It's pretty hard for the birds to see. They'll hit like this and they'll fall into these pockets. It doesn't take long. This is a spotted towhee. Each tiny bird is slowly, patiently untangled. The song sparrow, common yellow throat. It's a thrush. And then hand delivered to a banding station where care and caution are the bywords. It's a yellow warbler. An aluminum band is secured to the bird's leg. Numbers on it are 952. This will help the team learn more if the bird is ever recaptured along a migration route that can reach South America. Snag Boat Bend Refuge was chosen because it offers 200 acres of intact riparian habitat along the Willamette River. It used to be far more common uh, in the Willamette Valley, but with development, that's become a relative rarity. So we suspect that these are very valuable patches for breeding as well as fall migrating birds. Snag Boat Bend Wildlife Refuge is a good place for you to migrate to as well. Hiking trail that comes from the parking area and goes out to a viewing blind. And when the water's really high there, it's, it's got a lot of wildlife. And then in the summer when the water gets low, it's a really good western pond turtle viewing area. Flight feather where is a one. Good to go. Good to go. Here you go buddy. Visitors to the project can watch, maybe even lend a hand. Okay, ready? And learn more about the little known songbirds of the Oregon outdoors. Bye bye. It is a remarkable effort by these folks to offer us more insights into songbird behavior. For example, during their migration, most of the songbirds seem to travel by night. During the day, they tend to rest and forage for food. And some of these songbirds have remarkable journeys, starting in subarctic areas and reaching all the way to South America, and then turning around and returning home in the spring. It is amazing. We have all the details, directions, contact information, so you can learn more right here on the Travel Oregon website. So be sure to check it out. Until next week, do get out here and explore the great Oregon outdoors. Let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.